Circuit. Set the rules. Hi guys, this is Raislin from Ghost to Gamers. I'm here with uh, Rene, the CEO of Rocket, who showed me quite a cool thing uh, today. It's called the Power Grid. Rene, tell me, how did you how did you come to think of this this cool product? Okay, basically, um, you know, most of the people in our company are gamers, and whenever we do products, we try to improve improve this kind of product to give us a better gaming experience. And the basic idea about this was uh, while playing computer games, you get a lot of messages coming in like Skype and Teamspeak and these kind of things. And basically, you're in the heat of the battle. You don't want to be have these annoying uh, messages coming in. So we thought we need something like an incoming central to show it, to show to us who's like trying to contact us. And yeah, because everybody owns these expensive smartphones, we thought, why not use this nice displays instead of buying keyboards with displays? Why not use these displays to get certain advantage? And it started as an incoming center, and now it's uh, like a monster tool. OK, so we're in the game. I want to change now to flames, no sword. Just press the button. You see it's going immediately. I want to change to sparks left hand, sparks right hand. I want to heal on the left hand. I want to heal on the right hand. And I want to have the sword maybe. So that's how you walk through weapons. But it's also interesting to know what quest you have. So I press the button for quest, press it again, it's gone. Go to talent tree, go away from talent tree, or maybe look into my inventory. So basically I easily press a button. So now, because Skyrim is so boring, um, I go to sound control again, and I will play music. Press the music button, go to the favorite place of my song, and now I realize the music is a little bit too loud. So I just changed the volume for my music. So that's why I will go down with the music now, and you can hear the music is getting less, and now I have full, full sound on Skyrim with some music in my background. And this is basically something you can build by yourself. So whatever favorite game you have, if it's StarCraft or whatever, build your own grids, put all the controls in place that you can fully control while you're in the game. How do you see this? Um, where do you see this fit into the regular gamer? Could you say some, uh, some typical uh, things he can control? Okay. So it's not uh, replacing your keyboard. And it's not going to replace your mouse. So both will be your favorite gaming accessories in the future. But you know, when you need to control things while you're in a game, like volume control, like uh, you know, volume balance, even if you want to change from uh, the game music, the game sound, or the team speak to balance everything, you can control this very easily from our application. Or if you want to know you're in a game, you want to know why it's laggy. So you need to see how's the network traffic doing, or maybe my CPU is making problems, or my memory is not enough. So with this app, you have like full control over it. Guys, let's go through the application. You easily start the Rocket app on your smartphone. What you can see over here, there will be a possibility to scroll uh, vertically, while well, this will be scrolled uh, horizontally. So if you have more than one custom tab, you can see the tabs over here can easily scroll. This is the incoming center. In the incoming center, you can either change, uh, filter the messages. So if you have, don't want to have certain messages, very easy to do. Or do you just to decide just to follow Twitter messages. Also very easy. Just go back if you want to see all the messages. So this is basically the incoming center. The system starts, shows you how many CPU, what is your CPU doing right now? We have Skyrim in the background. Still, the CPU is pretty bought with only 11%. You see the memory, you see the net, the net traffic over here, incoming outcome. But you also can scroll down and you can set your own timers and stopwatches, whatever you need uh, for system stats, system monitoring. Sound control, something very important. So play some music, stop some music, go to next track, even go you know, to the middle of a track. Or just go to the music level, change the, change, change the way you want to play the music, the loudness. You can see over here. You can also mute only the music. You can also mute microphone. You can boost microphone from here. So if you have any chance, any control you need. But which is most important is what you can see over here is all uh, applications running uh, at this time. So um, if you want to change individual things like only the Windows Media Player, it's very easy to change. Just change the volume bar and you see you have more from the game now, you have less sound. So let's go to the, our first custom tab. Uh, what you can see over here is something we built very easily within five minutes. So you have like all the application, maybe you want to start this game Skyrim, you want to open Word, Skype, email, these kind of things. So it's very easy to do. Just simply press a button like YouTube, um, 
Facebook, um, Word, my computer, uh, email, Firefox, and it immediately it shows up on the screen what you're doing. And yeah, you can build your own custom grips. We did one for Skyrim. As you can see over here, it's a sword, the flames, the sparks, and the heel thing we want to attack. Uh, um, we want to use immediately. You have something like an inventory, maps, talent tree, or quest, which are usually uh, behind some weird uh, letters. But we combined this uh, with a so-called rock clock, so you know exactly what time is it, so you don't spend too much time if you need to school the other day. You see the CPU performance, so you can always check everything is fine. You see RAM, and you also have a volume master slide, so you can basically decide if you want to change volume directly from your personal grid uh, for Skyrim. So just imagine, this could be your favorite game, uh, this could be your settings, this could be your combination, what do you ever think is most important, so yeah, that's how Power Grid works. So what do you think of the, the possibilities to help players stream their matches? Uh, will this be a po powerful tool for them to use? I think so, because uh, most of the time you need to be in-game, so the game should be uh, mainly on your monitor. And every switching to different application will make it more, more complicated. If you grab the signal, everybody will see what you're doing, basically. So with this kind of power grid, it's a power to you to decide whatever application you want to uh, control from it. So if you want to change volume, for example, or you want to, I don't know, start or stop different pro, uh, pro, uh, products, or you want to whatever, put in new, new spots, it's, it's free to you. Because the power of power grid is you decide by yourself what kind of grid you want to make, what you want to control by yourself. You do this on the application on the holster, which is your computer, and you just send it to your iPhone, and your iPhone just become, or your smartphone, your Samsung Galaxy, just become the tool you want to, what you want to operate, and basically you decide by yourself. What are your goals for uh, uh, players creating their own grids and sharing it with their friends? Is, will that be easy accessible? Yeah, we want the people to customize it as much as possible. If you think for my guild, like um, you have special TeamSpeak servers, you have special TeamSpeak's password, you have your own graphics, for example. You know how picky teams are with their own graphics. You want to have your own clan logo. Uh, you maybe have your own special commands you want to share with your friends. Very easy. Just take the folder, send it over, just install it and uh, put it in. And then he has the same graphics, the same modules, everything available at the same place. Yeah, we want to have this people doing, yeah. So do you have any feedback uh, from other, other partners or anything? What do, what do people say about the power grid? Uh, honestly speaking, this is like the biggest thing we ever launched so far uh, concerning all the reach we generated, the feedback we got. Just to give you an idea, within the first day we had already 1,000 people asking for the public beta on our website. Our website was like basically down for a while. Uh, until today, we have more than 10,000 registrations, uh, people asking for uh, being on the beta. We have had so many partners who now understand the concept. So we have hardware partners. We are planning to control uh, main boards uh, in the future. We are planning to con control graphic cards to overclock. These kind of things are basically done on CBIT right now. And you will see more grids and grids coming from famous graphic card companies like Zotac or uh, mainboard uh, manufacturers like ASRock, you will see like a lot of applications that uh, yeah will help you um, getting the best of your hardware and uh, yeah see the limits. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Is there is there anything you would like to say in ending words for for Argosy Gamers uh, readers of? So uh, basically, what I want to do is, and uh, this is something which is always very important to us, is uh, as I being the programmer by myself, we want to stay close to the community. So feedback is always wanted, positive as negative. And uh, as we already discussed, maybe we can have a Gozu Gamer grid one day, and maybe the reader of Gozu Gamer can uh, can help us finding the right application or the right things they want to control in their RTS or a mobile game, whatever. So help us, and you will have have the best application available because it's for free. Huh.